Greetings RC Model Geeks and here we are in the shed yet again for part two of Pete's Problem Planes. Now here he is. Here's, Good afternoon. Here's, the, here's a big problem. And, yeah. and there's the second problem. And there's the second problem. Or multiple problems. Oh, it's the Pogo. Now I have to say this looks very nice until you take a closer look at it. Um, yeah. Let's start with the wings, shall start we? Start with the wing. Let yeah, me put that, put down. that down, Pete. And Let's we'll, have a look uh, at the wing. We'll, we'll start with a wing. Now, you bought this second hand, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. It's we're, never flown. We know. We've got to get that in that you didn't actually build it. Correct. Um, what you're going to see is not me. Yeah, what you're going to see next is is, is not Saltmarsh Pete's uh, doing. So let's have a look at the um, the, the hinges on the ailerons um oh let me actually let me try moving the 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 hinge if you hold the wing tight there Pete. yeah um yeah it doesn't really move uh mainly because the the hinge is uh well it's i don't know how you can see it it's but just got a big dollop it's of glue. It basically it's epoxy the whole thing it's just been a epoxy up fuck. And the same on the other one. I mean, that one won't even go down at all. There's so much uh, epoxy in the hinges. That doesn't fit very well anyway. Uh, let's flip it over. Let's have a look this side. Yeah, there's been a little um, oh, bit of bodging going on there, isn't there? This is certainly second hand. Um, it's not even using the right uh, the horns there properly um, but it would never have moved anyway because the whole thing is seized up that is the total movement I can get so there's problem number one okay problem let's, number two. let's have a look at problem number two which is the fuselage <laughs> and let's look at the tail surfaces on that uh, what so this one's connected up, but it's pretty much the same kind of thing. Um, it's just like glue city. Like. Yes, there's the uh, elevator. Um, completely seized up. Uh, if you can get a close on, get a close up of that. It's just all epoxy again, and the same on the other side. I think you get a good view underneath. Oh, let's have a look underneath, Pete. Look, look here. Great big long line of glue, oh, yeah. and look at that one. Oh yeah, that, 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 r that rudder's got a slight issue with uh, a glued up hinge. So, um, huh, yes, you can see what we're going to be sorting out today, can't you? Um, uh, those are the main issues, aren't they? They are the main ones. I think you mentioned that the servos... Oh, uh, something, somebody's dicked up the mounting of the servos as well. Um... Even though they've got high tech servos in there, but well, actually, yeah, you can see. Look, those push rods are actually bent. You see how bent they are? I do now. Yeah. Um, uh, so they're like under tension for some reason. Because what they should have done was mounted the two servos closer together. Yeah. So that you know it comes in line. These have just been bent out. I was waiting to see if it pinged like a. A guitar. So um, it's basically a um, a control surface issue on this plane. Uh, first of all, and we haven't had it fired up yet, so we don't know about the old uh, engine. Oh, no, we, yeah, we haven't run it up. Um, it's definitely probably been crashed because the original uh, spinner's missing off it and all. Um, so and and it's also got the um, offset the wrong way on the motor. So we'll probably take this off. I've got a feeling that something's been broken under there, Pete. Oh, God. Um, so, uh, oh, right. I think what we'll do, um, <laughs> the list is long today and time is short. So what we will do is we'll take the, uh, the prop off, take this cowling off. Which we think we can do from here. Yeah, just undo those screws. Um, got to, well, we can't really fix that side's all right, isn't it? It's that yeah, side that's... this side's got to... A couple little, of cracks. I would not even worry about that. Um, so we'll get the cowling off and uh, see what's gone on up in front there because it looks like something's not right. Ooh. <laughs> Back soon. Right, got some um, some hinges out. 
Um, just got to do the rudder one and the ailerons, of course. But <laughs> yes. um, let's see if we can get a better view of what's going on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like somebody sneezed on it and it's dried. So look at the other side. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you know, shit, did that ever work? No. I mean, it's crap. Right, so we've got to get that one out now. So what I'm doing is basically, I'll try giving them the old pull to see if they'll pull out. If they won't pull out, um, I'll just chop them through with a knife because they're only the uh, the uh, super glue type um, uh, hinges, you know, like uh, like that. So yeah, we'll just chop them with a knife. Then we can run a knife down the side of them and pull them out. So uh, that's what we're doing. Back soon. Right, we've uh, replaced the hinges in the uh, the tail. Uh, that was a job and a half cutting them out, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, with proper hinges, um, which is good. So that is all done. Um, what else have we done? Um, oh, this was broken here. Oh, we just glued that back. Uh, motor was a little bit loose, wasn't it, Pete? Yeah, so it's Pete, tight uh, that. Did that up. So the fuselage is probably just about done. The only other thing we've got to sort out are the push rods, yes, uh, which are here. Um, and as you can see, they've got nice bends in them, and they shouldn't have. Uh, they should be straight. So we've got to sort that out. Then we've got to put the servos back in, and that's been a little bit of a lash. You can see you know, it's a bit broken away there. Um, but we can sort that out. Uh, then we had a look at the wing again, didn't we, Pete? We did. Um, oh, and the switch, don't forget. Oh, and the switch is shagged. It's got a switch in this, yeah? And it doesn't feel right. And the reason it doesn't feel right is if we flip it over, um, let's get a shot of that. You see all that epoxy around there and uh, on that side as well. Well, these switches are open-ended. So what I, where it's, they put epoxy in there to hold that switch along with the uh, screws, the epoxy's actually run inside the switch, which is a, a bit of a balls up really. So we're probably just going to uh, bypass that switch uh, and get rid of it because it's not really needed at all. So we'll just um, you know solder those two wires together. Job done. Uh, yeah, and then we got onto the wing again. Well, we haven't done the hinges in the wing yet, have we, Pete? We haven't, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but you but can we were see. Just, we were just looking at, um, right, you see this plate here? That plate shouldn't be there. Um, the servo is mounted too high. And if we go do a side shot there, um, well, you can see, I mean, look. Oh, bend, bend. Let me let go of it. You know, it's uh, completely at the wrong angle and too high for these uh, for these horns here. So ideally, we want to drop that servo back down into the wing where it should be. But I wonder what surprises there are under this mm. plate, because you would expect there's two bearers for that servo under there, um, which is how it should be. So we'll take that plate off and have a look at that and get these sorted out. But we've also, of course, got to modify the horn anyway because uh, it's going to clash with those arms. Those arms should be cut off or other arms. It depends what how why we want that apart. And also, look, it's got the wrong screw in the uh, in the servo there as well. So uh, we'll have to have a look at that. So yes, that's the next things. So uh, we'll come back to you when we've um, dicked around with the wing a bit. Right, okay, we've got the servo out, uh, and here it is. Um, <laughs> another another little trick that they did when they put this together. If I just rotate this on its side, um, you'll see that this push rod here, see how far that's uh, sticking down there? Well, that, like, oh, it hits the side of the servo. <laughs> Um, after like not a lot of turning so uh, yeah I mean oh, complete balls up uh, install really isn't it um, yeah I mean you know uh, I'm not convinced this ever flew 
So, um, yeah, well, OK, we're going to have to um, uh, try and fix all this and got to work out how to get that in there without the plate. we get it line up with those bits. Right. Back soon when we've dicked around with it. <laughs> Right, we have been busy, haven't we, Pete? Blimey. Blimey. Well, you have. It took longer than we thought. Oh, no, you've been doing some stuff as well. Uh, well right. We did, we did start nearly five hours ago. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, Pete. It does, That's it does. It is, mate. So, uh, we've sorted the wing out. Um, we've redone the servo install. Made a new plate installed the uh, servo in, screwed it in the right way round with the top hats the right way, um, sorted out the horn on the servo, um, made up new push rods uh, and we've got ball links uh, on there now as well uh, and that all lines up quite nicely um, which it didn't before <laughs> and now actually the ailerons move what we decided to do in the end was try and pick out all of the glue that was uh, down in there um, and there, which we successfully did. There's some of it. We've lost a lot of it on the floor. But you can see how thick it is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's massive. Um, so, I mean, the ailerons weren't really moving at all because that was just in the gap of the ailerons where the, uh, where the hinges were. So, yeah, that's all good. Um, and that's pretty much it for the day, isn't it? We decided that we can't do no more. We're Pete, going to have to Pete's, have a... Pete's got summoned. Yeah, we're going to have to have a 2.2. A, a yeah, yeah, a yeah. part 2.2. 2.2, indeed. Uh, definitely. Um, yeah, what else did we sort out quickly? Um, undercarriage. Um, which is spaced over the wheels slightly better, so they sit in the pants better. Balance the prop. Balance the prop, yeah. Um, where is the body? Ah. <coughs> uh, and that's as far as we've got with the uh, the, the body. So our, uh, all that's now hinged properly, lovely jubbly. Moves. Um, yeah, so we've all got to do now is the push rods. This won't be today, because it's going to be a 2.2, .2, as Pete said, in a very software kind of fashion. Um, switch. Yeah, we've got to sort that switch out. Servos. Put the servos back in. Look, I mean, uh, that even wasn't screwed in there. It's gone off the edge, so that needs sorting out. Um, push rods. Um, bind it all up. Bind it, it all out. Up. Yeah. So that'll be in the next part, whenever that may be. Um, but yeah, it's coming together. Um, I can't believe it ever flew. That's what it should look like. That's what it should look like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it oh, hasn't got the right nose cone on it. No, Unfortunately, um, I've got a yellow one that'll fit. So we might put that on. Um, but yeah, that is it. It's been a busy, long day. Yeah. Oh, we sorted out the, some of the cracking, didn't we, in that? Oh, that, were... that was all cracked there and broken. And we put some foam behind this and then glued it. To, um, and that seems slightly better than it was. And, yeah, that's it, really. There's not, no other glaring errors, was the P. No. We moved a lot of glue, though, didn't oh, we? Oh, shit, man. From, from well, places so all like... Glue. You can what it was like there. Yeah, it's still a little bit there, but you know, it's, it's compared different. to what it was, it was thick yeah, with compared glue. Compared to what it was, yeah, it's uh, ten times better. Um, yeah, and we we've got to sort the like wheel that. out. Yeah, tail wheel needs doing. Um, but yeah, that is it for the day. We're calling it a day. Well done, for, Rob. For Pete's problems, problem planes. <laughs> Pogo. Pogo. Yeah, Pete's problem planes. The Pogo. Part two will be coming soon. Hopefully, uh, future planes won't be so uh, problematic. Yeah, well, uh, well, you reckon this is the worst one, don't you? I do, I do. So, um, yes, yes, indeed. Right, that's it. See you all soon. Cheers, all. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If 
you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.